Hi everyone, my name is Jerome Titus. He is my project partner Kunal Jha. We have worked under the guidance of uh, Dr. Kaibalya Prasad Panda and uh, we, are, we belong to the Department of Electrical Engineering, Pandit Dindyal Energy University. For our major project, we have worked on a 9 level multi level inverter and uh, this inverter uses just a single DC source and it is able to boost the input voltage to up to 4 times using the capacitor modules. Now coming on to the uh, experimental setup. So first we have uh, uh, verified and analyzed our uh, topology in the simulation uh, software that is in MATLAB. Then we, uh, we, we move on to the experimental results. So we have uh, uh, operated our inverter topology on Arduino as well as STM32 microcontroller. So this microcontroller gives the signals to the gate driver circuit. Gate driver circuit utilizes the TLP250 and MOSFET switches. Gate driver circuits are supplied uh, uh, is supplied by the SMPS that converts the voltage from 230 to 15 volt DC. Uh, this is the switch uh, capacitor module that bo uh, boosts the voltages uh, and gets the required uh, output voltage. And and finally, you can see the nine level uh, volt output voltage waveform uh, that as you can see that the voltage is uh, four times boosted. Now our supervisor will uh, speak some words about our uh, inverter topology. Yeah, hi everyone. So, this uh, two of the students, they have developed a novel circuit for the nine level uh, multi-level inverter. And uh, as they have already told, they have used switched capacitor circuits to boost the voltage. And these switched capacitors are self-balanced type. They do not use any additional control logic for voltage balancing of these uh, capacitors. They have only used the switching logic to maintain the voltage balancing across the capacitors. and. Uh, as you can see, this uh, circuit has been tested under different test conditions and I, I would like to show you some of the test results here which has been captured from this test setup. As you can see here, we have taken the first initial result with only pure resistive load and you can see clearly that this uh, set is, uh, this result has been taken with uh, only pure resistive load and further results are taken with load changing environment. Here you can see that the load is changing from resistive to inductive at this point of time and when there is a change of load only the load current is being changed whether and whereas the voltage is not uh, getting disturbed and similarly the other results are taken with dynamic test condition like it has been shown here with change of modulation index and as you can see that when there is a change in modulation index there is a change of voltage levels here or oh, sorry the, the voltage pattern here where whereas the other results are taken with uh, the frequency change condition also. You can see here that when there is a sudden increase in the frequency from 50 hertz to higher frequency, this inverter is still working fine without uh, any interruption. So it is still maintaining the 9 level output and that is to show that the capacitors are self balancing the voltage and that is the reason the inverter is still working with 9 level output in the load side. And you can see here some other results are taken with high frequency pedulum technique. Here there is another pedulum technique which is implemented that is with phase disposition pedulum technique. Here you can see the result is taken with pure inductive load and inverter is still working fine with 9 level output and inductive loading condition. And these are some of the other results taken with again load changing condition where the inverter is working with higher switching frequency and here we have considered the switching frequency of about 5 kilohertz. And this is another result where you can see that when there is a change in modulation this inverter is producing different levels. First it has been producing 9 levels and then when you have changed the modulation index it is producing 7 level. Again when the modulation index is decreased it is producing only 5 level output. So I can say that the students and we together worked under this project rigorously to test the circuit under different test conditions. The one important uh, application of this uh, inverter topology can be with the grid tight solar system. Our main, uh, major future work will be that we would integrate this inverter with grid tight with uh, photovoltaic systems along with uh, grid tight conditions. So uh, finally we would like to uh, conclude uh, by thanking our uh, uh, supervisor for his valuable guidance throughout the major project. We would also like to thank the Department of Electrical Engineering for providing us the valuable support and the lab facilities to be used throughout our major project. And I would also li uh, like to thank the Director, Dean and uh, HOD Upper Department for their immeasurable guidance and support. Thank, thank you. you.